Hello science fans, let's talk about something truly amazing, something many of us carry in our pockets every single day. I'm talking about the smartphone. Consider this, this small flat device, it's more than just a phone, it's a camera, a map, a music player, a library, and a window to the entire world. It's like having a supercomputer that fits right in the palm of your hand. We use them to talk to friends, watch videos of cats playing the piano, find our way to a new pizza place and learn about, well, everything. The smartphone has completely changed how we live, how we work, and how we play, connecting us to people and information in ways we could only dream of. It's a remarkable piece of science and engineering. You tap on a little picture, and suddenly you are video chatting with your cousin across the country. You ask it a question, and it speaks the answer back to you. It's not magic though. It's science. And the science inside your smartphone is something we can all understand. Over the next few minutes, we're going to take a journey inside your phone, peek behind the glass screen, and discover the tiny, powerful parts at work. Think of it as a guided tour of a miniature city, where every component has an important job. Our goal is to demystify this everyday object. Science is for everyone. From the moment you press the power button to sending a text, a whole series of fascinating events takes place. Each part has a role, all playing in perfect harmony to create a symphony of function. We will look at the phone's brain, its eyes, its memory, and how it gets energy, plus how it talks to the world through invisible waves. By the end, you'll look at that sleek device with new wonder. Let's get started. So, you press and hold that little button on the side of your phone. What happens next? It's like waking up a sleeping giant. The button sends a tiny electrical signal to the power management system, the gatekeeper of energy stored in the battery. It checks if there's enough power. If yes, it gives the go-ahead. Then it sends a surge to the processor, the phone's brain, which immediately looks for instructions. It finds them in a special memory called the bootloader, a tiny checklist the phone follows every time. First instruction, run quick checks, screen, memory, and radios. This power-on self-test is the phone's stretch before waking. After checks pass, the bootloader starts the operating system, Android or iOS, and loads it from storage into RAM. The OS manages everything, finishing services like the touchscreen and cellular connection, preparing your icons and widgets. When that familiar screen appears, the phone is fully awake. A complex digital ballet performed in seconds. Consider that. Now that our phone is on, let's meet the processor, the central processing unit, the brain. Every tap, swipe, or spoken command is an instruction to the processor, which performs trillions of calculations and directs all parts. The part we interact with most is the screen, our window into the digital world, and our main tool for control. 